Guys, happy new year. Sincerely, happy new year. We survived this 2020 year that has been setting such a huge mark on the world. And hopefully things are looking good. Me, myself, I just got vaccinated for COVID-19. And yeah, I posted actually on my Instagram, you know, when I just a few moments after I got the injection in my arm the, uh, vac with the vaccine. And yeah, a lot of people were like, why, why did you get it? Only healthcare workers and the really sick and really elderly did get it. And I'm like, and I am a security guard at the emergency room at the hospital where the emergency room at the hospital got the vaccine, the, the workers, and I'm there for 12 hours a day, 170 hours per month, you know, I'm in the front lines. I'm the first person you see when you step into the emergency room, I think. So, yeah, it made sense that I would get it. So, yeah, I've got my first injection. I get another injection in about 17 days or so, I believe. And, yeah, um, felt didn't feel anything. Not, you know, not didn't feel a thing. Uh, a lot of the other people felt sore. Some of them felt a little dizzy, a little uh, nauseous. I mean, they had they were like sore in the in the injection place a couple of days after, but I didn't feel anything actually. Um, yeah, my immune system is top notch. <laughs> it's really I feel I'm so grateful and so and yeah I feel so grateful to get it. I was really hoping I would get it and yeah yeah because as I said a lot of people were like why did you you of all people you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got a couple of messages from like anti anti vaxxers who don't want the, the, the vaccination and think this is all some sort of, some sort of conspiracy by someone in the world. I don't know. <laughs> um, I didn't respond to it. I just I think it's a little bit stupid, but whatever. People can <laughs> people can think what they want to think and believe what they want to believe. Of course, no judge. So that's awesome to end the year on that. Otherwise, 2020 was a great year for me, actually. Personally, in my personal life. Um, of course, I set, set the new PR, the 275 kilogram deadlift. Uh, after, you know, have, having been off for nine months, I was running in the beginning of the year. You know, I had to quit strong and start it again, like June. But before June, I was running a lot, played a little basketball. I was trying to, trying to, yeah, if you watched my earlier videos from last year, I was training to pass the police test. I wanted to enroll in the police academy. I went through all the doctor's check and everything, just had to pass the physical test. But I couldn't keep running because of the shin splints in my legs, and I had to quit. I was taking two, four eye defense, um, anti-inflammatory drugs, uh, yeah, a day to just, and I couldn't walk, couldn't train, you know, two days two days in a row or else I just couldn't walk. It was just terrible. So I started, I said in my, fir in my first videos when I bought my gym equipment that I wasn't gonna start again. I was just gonna try to, you know, stay healthy, get a little thing stronger, just a little bit. But of course I know myself, I became addicted to the progress to strongman again. And of course went full in strongman <laughs> and I couldn't be happier and so that I did that because I, I feel so good right now. The rest, the nine month rest that I took was actually pretty, pretty good for my body I think. Shaved a little fat off and now I'm back to 149, 150, 151 on when I'm full days. <laughs> um, body weight 150, 100, 150 kilograms and feeling really strong. I just pulled the other day, on New Year's Eve actually, I, I deadlifted 260 kilograms for three sets of four reps. And that's a big PR, huge PR. And I, I, and I went into the calculator, like one rep max calculator, and I know that in the first set I could have, you know, done five reps, you know, it was that, that wasn't too hard. It was hard, but it wasn't, I could have easily done another rep. And 260 for five reps equals one rep max of 300 kilograms. So 
that's really good to see because on the 18th of January the deadline is still going to pull 300 kilograms perhaps even more who knows <laughs> so that's really exciting um, yeah I have a little place to train and just <laughs> yeah I have a little place to train I just can't say any more Hopefully the gyms and Thor's Power Gym will open open again on the 12th of January. I'm crossing my fingers, and then I can film my sessions, my workout sessions, I can't bring it to you guys. I want to be able to film a YouTube video for the 300 kg deadlift. It would suck to not be able to film it, um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Otherwise, it'll just be in the bank for the summer. Also in 2020, moved into this place. Couldn't feel happier here. I, I love it. Almost in downtown Reykjavik. As I said in my last video, I opened a Patreon account. And I've got two Patreons, patrons, who pledged and pledged to me monthly for a, com for a combined total of $32 per month. So my two patrons are Thor, Kalen, and Andre Thor. And yeah, thank you guys so much for pledging. Uh, I really appreciate it. it, helps me, and yeah, of course your name will be at the end of the bid as well. Um, as I said, I'm gonna have at the end of the bid the names of my Patreons who are supporting me. And yeah, a, little, a little bit of shout out, the least I can do actually. <laughs> my cats are going crazy. <laughs> so, 2021 is upon us, and I have some New Year's resolutions, some goals that I would like to achieve in 2021 and here they are in the gym a 330 kilogram deadlift before the end of 2021 that would be awesome I'm probably gonna be try I'm probably gonna be training to use a deadlift suit for the summer uh, when it gets closer to that so maybe more who knows maybe three, more than 330 in the suit who knows um, a man can dream and I'll be putting in the work damn sure no I will 170 kilogram bench press bench is lacking a little bit for me I'm, I'm not a good bencher I still do train it just like every, anything else but it just seems to not come as naturally for me as many other people maybe it has something to do with a seven feet seven foot wingspan but I don't want to make excuses um, 145 kilogram log log press that would be awesome um, my shoulders are, I feel like they're stronger compared to my chest, my bench. So also, I have a little bit of theory, like, I feel like each person's log is about 20 to 30 kilograms lighter than their max bench press. I had, when I had 140 in the, in the bench, I had 120 in log, and you know, many of my friends who have like a 200, 210 kilogram bench press, they have like a 170, 180 kilogram log. And yeah, it's, it seems to little seems correlate a little bit. Um, it's a little theory of mine that I, seems to work out many times. And for the squat, I would like to do a 250 kilogram squat. Honestly, guys, if I do make it, if I do, if I do a 300 kilogram deadlift on the 18th of January, there will actually be a hundred kilogram difference between my max squat between my max squat and my max deadlift 300 and 200 so i need to bring up my squat it's embarrassing how much of a difference there is it's just yeah can't explain it it's just yeah i do high bar by the end of this program i think i'm supposed to do 220 kilograms squat so we'll see hopefully that will go up and I'm thinking about maybe wrapping my knees. I've never ever done that before. And I, find, I think it's something I could maybe benefit from doing. Who knows? I've always been like, I, li I only do sleeves because I like to do the work myself. And the sleeves can't be too tight. They are just to heat up my joints. Um, so yeah, but many, so many of the top strong in the world squat with knee wraps. So I think, you know, there must be a reason. I should try to learn it so yeah those are my goals in the gym I have no body weight goals I just don't want to get too fat I just want to each training cycle each training program I want to put on like two or three kilograms just of solid quality mass another just personal resolutions 
less gossiping and shit talking. I'm human. I get into you know, with the guys, talk a little bit of shit, you know, hey, do you, did you know, did you hear what this guy said? Did you hear what this guy did? Do a little less, less of that. I want to stay positive, only talk well about people. Somebody said to me the other day when I told them this, less gossiping and less shit talking. There's a difference between gossiping and criticizing other people. And I was like, that's a very, very thin line, <laughs> very blurry line wherever that line is, but I guess there may be a little bit of truth to that if you think about it. I try to, I try to see every possible way. Um, another resolution, more YouTube content. I want to make more YouTube content for you guys. It would be awesome to try to grow this channel even more. Who knows, maybe get to 2,000 subscribers. I don't know if that's a goal too far off. I don't want, it's strange to have goals of subscribers because it shouldn't be about that, I think. It should be, you should be doing it for the fun, not just to get numbers. But yeah, it's just fun, fun to think about, I guess. Um, and yeah, be totally debt free in October. I still owe the bank a, a little bit of money, but everything else, all the small loans are paid. My car loan, everything is paid. So that's a really good feeling. I started off last year in a lot of debt. I had to quit Strongman, as you may know, because of debt to all these sort of small loan companies. Um, you know, I've paid all of that and it's just all oh, the bank itself a little bit of money. I'd like to finish paying that and just be totally debt free. Oh, no one, nothing. Just the rent each month and insurance and that's it. Yeah, that would be, that's, those are my New Year's resolutions for 2021. So, yeah, it sucks that I'm not able to make more interesting content than just me sitting here and talking and babbling and ranting on. But, you know, I guess tough times call for tough videos. <laughs> um, but hopefully um, you'll still support me uh, and what I'm doing. And yeah, look out for because there will be more training videos in the future. As soon as the gyms open up, as soon as I can get into Thor's Power Gym and film, I will be posting a lot more. And yeah, I'm almost peaking right now. I'm at the 12th week of the program, and in four weeks I'll be peaking doing a max deadlift, max bench, max squat, max overhead press. So yeah, that's exciting, guys. And then I'll take a little bit of time off, or not time off, just a little bit more bodybuilding phase for like eight to, 20, eight to 10 weeks. Then I'll start prepping in March for the summer of competitions for the best Fjord Viking and strongest man in Iceland and Magnus Ver Classic. He's holding a contest, I believe, rocks overhead and all sorts of goody goodies. Um, so yeah, that's really, really exciting. So yeah, You've probably heard a little bit too much of my voice today. <laughs> you probably skimmed through the video. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, please leave a comment. If you have any questions, anything you want to say, comment, whatever you want to comment, I will reply to you. And please like the video. Please subscribe. It really helped me grow my channel. And yeah, again, thank you guys so much for 2020 and thanks for watching my videos and following my progress. And yeah, I hope hopefully I can continue to make good videos in 2021. Better videos. We're only going upwards, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. I really, truly appreciate it. And yeah, live long and prosper. This is gonna be hard standing up. <laughs>